morning, good morning, amazing boys and girls. Welcome to Mavuno Kids Service. And I'm sure you are super excited for this day. Are you excited? Yes, you are. My name is Hypesess alongside the one and only Ike the DJ. And today we have decided to just match colors. That's how we are. I don't know if someone has green like us, green lantern. <laughs> That's how we roll it, all right? So right now, I want to invite you to hold the hand of the person seated next to you and just hold their hands on the count of three, you stand with them, okay? All right. One, two, two and a half. Okay, three, stand with them. <laughs> okay, and this is the moment that you love the most where we sing and dance for the Lord. So are we ready? Let's go! <laughs> just clap your hands, everybody, like so. Clap your hands. Sing about loving the Lord with all of our hearts. It's Ike the DJ. Ike the DJ. With all of our minds and strength. So are you ready? One, two, three, let's. Very simple, everybody go. Everybody, go low, go low, go low. Let's go. Let's go. Now, let me see you move like so. Come on, come on. Everybody, come on. I'm choosing happy to act. Are you happy, everybody? Let's go. I'm choosing happy to act. If you're happy, let me see you clap. Go. I'm choosing happy hey. to act. The joy of the Lord. Go. The joy of the Lord. Go. It is my strength. Let's go. And this is the day that one, I two, three. See. Let's go. Jump up. Of the Lord. Jump up, let's go. Before. Are we ready? Let's go! Jump up! Jump up! This it is my And the joy of the Lord is our strength. When you have that joy, we're going to be unshakable. Amen? And at this moment, I want to invite you and just to welcome you into a space where we sing our hearts out to God, expressing how we feel about his love, about his presence in our, in our lives. So just with your hands lifted up, with your eyes closed, if you know the song, the song is just about God's love, that his love is excess. His love is unconditional. Father, we worship you. We surrender to you with our hands lifted up. As we sing this song to you, Daddy. Your love is kind. You know, His love is also patient. Your love is patient. Yes, Lord. You feel. You feel my heart with so much peace and joy. 
with so much peace and joy. Lord, you are amazing. You're amazing. You make my life. You make my life feel brand new. Lord, even your promises and everything, oh God. You're amazing. Everything is amazing about you, God. You make my life feel brand new. Just with your hands lit up, just sing to God. Jesus, you love me too much, oh. You say. Too much, oh, too much, oh, excess love, He loves you too much to leave you where you are. That's why we sing this morning. Jesus, you love me too much, oh. Yes, God. Too much, oh, too much, oh, excess love, oh. We sing this because you have experienced your love, God. Jesus, you love me too much. You are an ending love. Too much, oh, too much, oh, excess love. One more time with your hands lit up. Jesus, you Just love sing me how much you love him. Oh, oh. Too much, oh, too much, oh, excess love. Father, we worship you. We adore your holy name, oh God. Indeed, you love us too much. That even you have given us a promise. There are promises in your word. Even your promise that when we give ourselves fully to your work, oh God, that we know that our labor in you is not in vain. So there are hidden treasures for us to get even as we serve you, even as we continue worshiping you, even as we give ourselves unto you. You are a good father. You never let your children empty. And you love us even just the way we are. So, Lord, I pray for every boy and girl this day that, Lord, may you go ahead of them. Open up their eyes to see what they're going to be taught. Open up their ears to hear everything and understand and apply it. For this we pray, trusting and believing in Jesus' name. And God should then say, it. Amen! Come on! are doing good and enjoying our series uh, with the unshakable duo. Now, 
I want to ask you guys a question. Turn to your neighbor. Can you recall last Sunday? Can you recall last Sunday? I Look, do. I don't know my neighbor. Are you sure? I Are you do. sure? I do. Here's another question. Can you share with your neighbor what you remember about the unshakable duo, a.k.a. Paul and Silas? Let us know what you remember. Now, I'm going to ask teacher Lydia, first of all, say hi, and then tell us what she remembers from last Sunday. Hi, hi, hi. Hello, Hello, everybody. I hope you guys are doing amazing. I am well. I'm enjoying my January. Now, mm -hmm. what I do remember is the singing. Woo, Shantaba. Mm. Mm -hmm. Why? Those guys were singing inside there. Uh -uh. Do you guys understand? Teacher Lydia, that wasn't singing. <laughs> that wasn't singing. Uh, do you want to hear Teacher Lydia sing? No. I do. No. Teacher Lydia, come Kindly, on. Kindly, let us not come embarrass on. myself. Let us not. Just give us that. Moving on swiftly. <laughs> you guys. And if you, if you shared with your neighbor uh -huh. what they remembered, and if you shared how there was an earthquake uh -huh. that left the chains uh -huh. <laughs> and the doors uh -huh. <laughs> broken, then you're correct. Come you're on. absolutely correct. Because yeah. that's what happened, guys. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I love that you guys are sharing what you are learning. And I, I, I know, so teacher leaders talked a bit about the chains and the doors breaking, all kind of stuff. But I want you to just kind of like, tell us more. So what have you learned from the chains okay. breaking and the doors okay. opening and all that kind of stuff? I'm about to get into some deep stuff. Praise mm. the Lord. Mm. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Now, what I, well, I learned mm -hmm. was um, the circumstances that Paul and Silas were that are that's an impeccable duo right there, Paul and Silas. <laughs> they were in jail. Jail, there are no beds. There are rats. There are cockroaches. But in that circumstance, they were still praising. Now, let me tell you, in the past, you put me in such circumstance, mm. I'll cry. <laughs> My friend, I'll desert this God. What do you mean? Uh -huh. But I have learned from this lesson, God is above what we're going through. God mm -hmm. is above what we see. He's above what we feel. And we have to rise mm. to that occasion. We have to rise and say, God, you know exactly what it is that I am in. Instead of saying, Lord, take me out of this storm, it's Lord, hold me through this storm. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Tap your neighbor. Hey. Let me tap my neighbor. Come on, neighbor. Tap my Come neighbor. on, neighbor. That, that's what I've learned. Oh, that's yeah. nice, Shalidia. Now, I want to share something as well. So, like you guys remember, in January, we were fasting for 21 days, yeah. right? Yeah. So, here's another challenge. Imagine somebody while you're fasting we're all fast all the Mavuno campuses global mm -hmm. were fasting for mm -hmm. 21 days mm -hmm. so now can you imagine you're in the middle of a liquid fast mm -hmm. and then somebody invites you to a really posh restaurant with amazing Ooh, food Jesus uh, let me tell you are you like me Ooh. who likes chips like and chicken love. and ribs oh lord huh and you know what else can I pork chops okay that's Ooh. too much meat you must have some salads there but yeah, like, what would you do? Like, would you just like sit there and look at the food? Or will you give in and say, eh, I'm never going to taste this food again? What would you do? Would you postpone the fast? What would you do? Especially if I'm not the one paying. Uh. Uh. To be honest, uh -huh. I'll just respectfully decline. To be honest, because <laughs> thou shalt not put thyself in temptation. <laughs> mm. <laughs> but wait here. Mm. <laughs> what decision would you make? Okay, so let me tell you guys. Um, because I am unshakable. Mm -hmm. Because I follow the king. Oh, Jesus. I would stand firm. Uh -huh. I wouldn't be moved. Mm -hmm. In fact, as the smell and the aroma of the chicken and the chips and the chapati and the salads, because salads are good for you, and the carrots and all those vegetables, I'll just begin to raise a song and mm. dance until mm. the aroma mm. passes. Let me mm. tell you. Hallelujah. Now I'm trying to think of a song Ooh. like, you know, Jesus loves the little children. Come, Come on. on, all the children of the world. And I'll be dancing and dancing and dancing until I forget about the food. That's what I would hey, do. That's actually what you do. Mm -hmm. Hey, Lord, that's amazing, actually. Well, done for standing and being absolutely unshakable like that unshakable duo, Pastor Sambo. Mm -hmm. Boys and girls, how are you applying this lesson? Mm. Mm -hmm. How are you doing applying mm. this lesson? Mm -hmm. Can we go to the next day's lesson now? Yeah, so we've talked about last week's lesson yeah. and, uh, you know, 
Yeah, so unshakable, right? Mm. But today we're going to learn about the unshakable duo and how uh-huh. they fought for good. Like they, how they, what they, they worked for what was good. Let's start with the story in the Bible from Acts 16, verse 26. Uh, so you guys, get your Bibles, get your Bibles, get your Bibles, get your Who Bibles. doesn't have their Bible? Let me see. Let I mean, if you don't have see. your Bible, run quickly, run quickly, one, two, three. Yeah, back. Okay. So I want to look at the book of Acts, which is in the New Testament. Mm-hmm. And I look at verse 26. And there's a powerful example of unshakable faith. Teacher Lydia, would you like to share the story to our young learners? Absolutely. In Acts, 20, in Acts 16, mm. verse 26, we learn about Paul and Silas. Mm. They faced a very difficult situation. Mm. Guys, mm. they were in prison. Mm-hmm. You know, some of you see prison in Superbook and you think it's fast. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. Despite the challenges, however, mm-hmm. they did not lose faith mm. whatsoever. Mm. And this is easier said than done. Mm. You, you get... My guys, it's not easy. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure you boys and girls can attest. Sometimes mm-hmm. the things we face is not easy. Now imagine with me. Let me mm. paint you the picture. Mm-hmm. They were in prison. Mm-hmm. There are no lights. There's like a small window over there mm-hmm. shining through. Mm-hmm. And you've not murdered anyone. The imagine. only thing you're arrested for is telling others about Jesus. Mm. Anyway, let's move on. Mm-hmm. And they were in that dark room in prison. Mm-hmm. They did not lose faith. Mm-hmm. They mm-hmm. prayed somebody. Mm-hmm. Woo! Mm-hmm. They sung him somebody. Come on, we and not to, to themselves. Sing. They did not say, oh Paul, me, I'm great. Mm-hmm. Thou greatest me, Silas, mm-hmm. thou greatest. Mm-hmm. They sang songs to God. Mm-hmm. Now let's open our Bibles and read because everything we do in MK, we base it on the Bible. Mm-hmm. So Acts 16, 26. Who's there? Who's there? Who's I'm there? there? I'm there. All right. It says, suddenly, there was a great Tell somebody great, great, violent mm-hmm. earthquake mm. that the foundations of the prison were shaken. Mm-hmm. Now, if where I'm standing right now, there was an earthquake. Mm. By there, I wouldn't even be. Are you seeing how tidy I am? Probably I'll be sw- <laughs> I'll go. <laughs> but now, this found this earthquake shook mm. the foundations of the prison, mm. and at once, all the prison doors. Flew open. Mm. They were closed with big padlocks. Mm. There are no small padlocks mm. in prison. I'm loving this story. Big ones, mm-hmm. yeah, that you can hold like this. Mm-hmm. And now all of the doors flew open. Mm-hmm. And then, tell somebody, and then, and then, everyone's chains came loose. Now, I want oh, you guys yeah. to understand. Let's put this in perspective. Okay. It wasn't just Silas. Paul mm. and Silas's mm. chains mm. that broke. Mm. <laughs> hey, mm. Mm. it was. Everybody. Oh, say everybody. Everybody. Uh-huh. Now, if you actually take your faith seriously mm-hmm. okay. and you choose to tell others about Jesus, it's not just you who gets saved. It's not just mm-hmm. you who gets to experience mm-hmm. Jesus. Mm-hmm. It's everybody Come around on. you. This Jesus is not just for you, my guys. I love it. It's also for your siblings, for your mom, for your dad, That's for right. your friends. So don't be shy. Share this faith, man. Share this faith. That's right. Thank you, Teacher Lydia, for that very descriptive account of what <laughs> happened in the prison. Uh, kind of sounds like Teacher Lydia has been to prison, but maybe she just got a good imagination. We'll keep it at that. She's obvious. Does she look like she's been to prison before? I'm Absolutely sure. not. She just has an amazing imagination, okay? So, uh, what happened next is incredible. An earthquake shook the prison. Mm-hmm. That's the first thing. Doors flew open, like wide open, mm-hmm. and then everyone's chains came loose. Mm -hmm. It's a perfect example of how unshakable faith can lead to positive outcomes. Absolutely. Now, kids, can any one of you share a situation where you felt like you really needed faith to overcome something? Mm. Like, you know, you really needed, you know, just because you couldn't do it in your own strength. It was a very hard, hard situation. Mm. Just share with your neighbor uh, sometime when you needed the faith. Mm. Now, Teacher Lydia, do you have anything for us? I think I have another example. Mm-hmm. When your pet gets sick, mm. Mm. you guys should find me and I tell you the story of my pet and what my dad mm. did to it. Anyway, oh. moving on swiftly. When my pet or when your pet gets sick mm-hmm. and you aren't sure if it would be okay, mm-hmm. in challenging times, mm-hmm. having faith helps you stay strong. Mm-hmm. 
helps you stay strong. Mm -hmm. Now, let's discuss ways mm -hmm. you can develop your faith, just like Paul and Silas. By the way, Paul and Silas weren't born and said, now we have faith mm -hmm. in Jesus. Mm -hmm. It's true. Mm -hmm. That's right. So let's discuss some ways where we can develop and get to the level where Paul and Silas actually were. Mm. Yeah, so you guys, you know that here at Mavuno Kids, we're not just coming to talk about the Bible. We want to show you ways on how you can live out what we learn in the Bible in your everyday life. So, like Teacher Lydia said, it's not like Paul and Silas just accepted Jesus as their personal Lord of Seven. Boom, they had unshakable faith. No, there are some things that they did that helped them develop their faith. And one way is through prayer. Mm. And what is prayer? It's talking to God, to our Heavenly Father, sharing our feelings, sharing our fears, sharing the things that excite us, the things that scare us, True. our hopes and our dreams. And you know what that does? It strengthens our faith. It makes it like, it's like, you know, prayer is like, um, like exercising and making us stronger. Yeah. And, you know, you know if, you're, if, you're, if you like running at school, the more you run, the faster you become. Mm -hmm. You just don't wake up one day. Well, maybe some people, but most people don't wake up one day and just start running fast. You have to, you know, yeah. run, run and get faster and get stronger. Well, that's what talking to God uh, through prayer does for us. It helps strengthen our faith. Another way that we love doing at Mavuno Kids is reading stories from the Bible. And that's why, you guys, you always have to have a Bible. And make sure you have your own Bible. Have your own. Mommies and daddies, make sure you get our kids their own Bible so that they can read those stories Learn from examples of people like Paul and Silas. Actually, you've put it in a really good way mm -hmm. that reading the Bible and praying is like exercise. Mm -hmm. I will say this and I will retire it <laughs> what uh, you just said. Read your Bible. Pray mm -hmm. every day. You want to mm -hmm. grow spiritually and mm -hmm. become like a really strong and muscular Come on. person. Mm -hmm. you, just because you're a child doesn't mean you can't have muscles. Let me tell you. You can have them in the spirit, guys. <laughs> That's right. I love that. Muscles in the spirit. Muscles in the spirit. Yeah, let me tell you. So another way also, it is to be grateful. Mm -hmm. Even in tough times, mm -hmm. finding things to be thankful for can mm -hmm. help us maintain our faith. Mm -hmm. Let us practice this habit in our daily lives. Just say thank you that you can blink. Start mm. with the basics. Mm. Thank you, I can walk. <laughs> Basic. Before we start saying thank you because of what I was bought uh -huh. to wear, just start with what you can do. Mm -hmm. Basics, guys. Yeah. Thank God for your fingers. Thank God for your toes. Mm. Thank God that you're fearfully and wonderfully made in the image of God. Absolutely. Yeah. So it's really important to be grateful. And always remember, just like in Acts 16, verse 26, unshakable faith can lead to positive outcomes, no matter what challenges we face. It was like what Teacher Lydia said, when the chains broke, then everybody got saved. So when you have unshakable faith, your mommy, your daddy, your brother, your sisters, your cousins, your friends, your neighbor, even strangers will benefit because you've had unshakable faith. Faith. Absolutely. Now, guys, it's that time. It's memory verse time. Come and on. Remember, our memory verse is from 1 Corinthians 15 58. So let's tune into our memory verse song. 1 Corinthians 15, 57, and 58.
a memory verse. Mm, Stand firm. Mm, mm, mm. Let nothing. Mm. And when we say nothing, the Bible does not say let mm-hmm. some things shake no. you. It says nothing shake you. Mm-hmm. Even if you're as tiny as I am, mm-hmm. or even tinier, mm-hmm. let nothing move you. Mm-hmm. Let nothing. I would like to invite Pastor Sombo Thank you. to conclude with us with a word of prayer. All right, guys, let's pray. Everybody close your eyes. Let's be silent. Let's pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for your goodness and your faithfulness. We thank you because you're a good, good Father and perfect in all of your ways. We thank you that you love us and you loved us so much that you sent your son Jesus to die for each one of us. And Lord, even as we go through this series of unshakable faith, Lord, help us. Help us to pray, help us to read our Bibles, help us to be grateful so that we can be stronger and strengthened and like Paul and Silas, be an unshakable duo. And Father, Lord, if there's anybody um, watching today who says, I don't know Jesus, I ask you that when we are done, just ask your mommy, your daddy or aunt, whoever is there with you and tell them, you know what? I want to know Jesus as my personal savior. I want to ask Jesus into my heart. And so, Father, Lord, we thank you for these beloved and amazing, fearless influencers. We pray that you bless them, you keep them strong, keep them safe throughout this week until we meet again next week. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us in our lesson today. We have had fun. Yes. And we hope that you guys have had fun. But most mm-hmm. importantly, mm-hmm. stand firm. Mm-hmm. Let nothing move Nothing. You. Like the... Fabulous duo mm-hmm. of fallen Silas. Mm-hmm. Have faith in your Lord. Have mm-hmm. faith in your maker. And when you want to cry, cry. You're not the first one. He will take you and give you a warm mm-hmm. embrace, guys. Mm-hmm. So that's it from us. Until next time. Bye. bye.